GMI stands for Glucose Management Indicator. It is a new way to measure your average glucose levels over the past three months. This is important because it gives you a more accurate picture of your glucose control than a single glucose reading or an A1C test. You may have heard of A1C which is a blood test that shows how much glucose is attached to your red blood cells. A1C is usually done every 3 months and it reflects your average glucose levels over that period. However, A1C has some limitations. It doesn't show how much your glucose levels fluctuate throughout the day or how often you experience highs and lows. It also can be affected by factors such as anemia, kidney disease, pregnancy and some medications. GMI is different from A1C because it is based on your continuous glucose monitoring data. Continuous glucose monitoring is a device that measures your glucose levels every few minutes using a small sensor inserted under your skin. It can show your glucose trends, patterns and variability in real time. It can also alert you when your glucose levels are too high or too low so you can take action to prevent complications. To get your GMI, you need to have at least 14 days of CGM data. Then you can use a formula to convert your mean glucose to GMI. Now the formula is on the screen. For example, if your mean glucose level was 150 mg per deciliter, your GMI would be 6.9%. GMI is not the same as A1C, but it can give you an estimate of what your A1C would be based on your CGM data. However, your GMI and your A1C may not always match because they are derived from different sources and methods. Your GMI may be higher or lower than your A1C depending on how your glucose levels vary throughout the day and how well your CGM device is calibrated. GMI is a useful tool for managing diabetes because it can help you understand how your lifestyle choices, medications and other factors affect your glucose levels over time. It can also help you set realistic goals and track your progress with your diabetes care team. GMI can complement your A1C test and your daily glucose readings but it cannot replace them. You still need to do regular finger stick tests to confirm your CGM readings and to calibrate your device. You also still need to do your A1C test every 3 months to monitor your long term risk of diabetes complications. I hope this video helped you learn more about GMI and how it can help you manage your diabetes better. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.